Hello and welcome to another episode of Graphics Girl where today I am going to show you how to make a tessellation. This is my 5x5 five five grid square and each square tile is by 1x1 one by one inch. This is how I started. Um, I made three variations. One using triadic colors. The second I used a grayscale. And then the third, I did split complementary. So right now, I'm going to show you my triadic colors. So right here is my sample tessellation. This is a five by five square. We have yellow, magenta, and cyan. And I'll even black is allowed in this case. So this is the pattern I've made. Now if you look at the skeleton key that I made, um, I actually fused the shapes together to create this. If you look, command Y, this is how you can see the shapes got fused together. Um, what we want to do is use the computer to see how you're going to actually paint it. So white and we're going to change the outlines to black. Okay, good. And let me see how it looks. This looks all right. Okay, we don't need these anymore. So now we're going to save a copy. And we're going to change this to PDF, which we'll be able to print. Okay, this looks fine. Save PDF. So this is the PDF. I am actually going to print this now. Let me see where's the print button. Here we go. All right, this looks fine. All right, so this is our shape. Um, for time's sake, we're just gonna ignore this line I've made. Make sure that the lines that you're traced, in this instance 5x5, five five, will match 5x5 five five here. Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to trace any image that you print. We're going to make our college level tessellation. The teacher instructed that we do a 5x5 five five measure square directly in the center. So the trick that we have here is that we have our printed tessellation and we're going to transfer it over here. The materials you will need are as follows. You're going to need a knife to cut it. You're going to need a ruler. You're going to need your H. B, no, you're not going to need that. Your 4B pencil, an eraser, and a blue ballpoint pen. So you need things like artist tape and some paints and the plate just to continue with the picture. So we're going to use our 4B pencil and we're going to make dark streaks that's around our square. Keep going along. Make sure it's pretty dark. Okay. Using a folder or cardboard that you can use for the underside, that would be preferable rather than working on a surface that could mess it up. We're going to take our ruler and knife and we're going to cut very carefully along the edge and you want to be actually very precise about this as it would really matter when you place it on your bristol. So I'm going to show you right now. Here we go. This may take some time to get it right. Then we give it a slice. And just like that, we cut all around and we take it very carefully. There we go. And you have 
your template way. So, okay, we're going to put it this right side up. And now to keep it in place, we're actually going to use our artist tape. Now you want to make sure you use artist tape instead of any, I don't know, scotch tape or duct tape or anything of the sort because that one does not uh, ruin the paper because it doesn't have that acid in it or the wear and tear for paper. It's very delicate. It doesn't leave residue. We're going to actually put it on all only three corners. So we're going to put one over here, one over here, and one over here. In the case, like let's say a righty. So uh, as we're, I'll show you in the next step, you can reference it and to see how you're doing. Now what we need to do is to trace all the work that we've done. So with your ballpoint pen and a blue one. So for instance, if I'm going to make a line from here to here, I'm going to show you. Perfect. I'm going to go along the line. Here. So you see what it does is that it shows what I've traced on. And the other side is going to also show what I've done. The concept is pretty much like carbon paper. So again, just continue with what you're working with. See, so do another line. And it's going to show what you're doing. So I'm just going to trace this and then we'll see what the next steps are. The simple rule anytime you're using a ruler is that when you are measuring, you use it horizontally. But when you are creating a line, do it vertically. So now if we take a look at the underside, we'll see that we've copied the whole design that we've done. And this looks great. I'm going to paint over this. The 4B pencil is pretty thick. So we want to actually take our eraser and slightly dab what we've worked on. Otherwise it might show through the paint. And the paint I'm actually using is watercolor. So you definitely want to avoid that. It's not to erase your work. The idea is just to lighten the pencil streaks that we've done when we made the tracing. Just light enough so that you can see what you're doing. Paint it is completely up to you. You can use triadic, you can use, you know, just the black and white, 